sports fans, welcome to Gotnax Gaming. Your host, F1 Way, here with some more Madden 17 coverage as we are going to go and do a draft champions team here with the new version of Madden. Super excited about this one. I love, absolutely love this mode of Madden. I am usually the type of guy who wants to see franchise, franchise and career mode and build your own player mode, but this is what I'm all about. Building a team and trying to make it work and trying to be a champion out of it. And Draft Champions was designed for me and me alone. That's what I think anyway. That's what I'm going to put it as. So let's go ahead and jump into here to our solo draft. I'm going to warn you guys, this is going to go quick. I'm going to try to keep up as much as I can to let you know what's going on with the action here and why I made the picks I made. First, we have to go in and pick a coach. So let's take a look at this here. We have Dan Quinn, Mike Malarkey, and Jeff Fisher. I will tell you that I did struggle a little bit with the coaches here as I really don't like any of them as a head coach, to be quite honest with you. But I went with Jeff Fisher because he does have the experience, and I think he would be a good fit for my style of football. So getting into our first draft pick here, we have a couple of old-timers uh, in there, as we have Kevin Green and Ray Nitschisky, whatever his name is, and Lawyer Malloy. Uh, to me, this was an easy one. We go for Lawyer Malloy uh, and build up that secondary right away. Great pick. So this one here, too, second pick in the in this in here was a no-brainer. I mean, we got to go with who, who we know, and we got to keep Darrell Revis in a New York Jets jersey as far as I'm concerned. The other guys, even though they're tempting, yeah, I'm Darrell Revis all the way, folks. Sorry, that's just the way it goes when you're a Jet fan. This one was a little bit of a tough pick. Didn't sh wasn't sure which way to go. Didn't want to go quarterback this early. I felt like we could find a better quarterback later on. So I went with Danny Amendola because he does have some pretty good catching skills. This was another tough pick, but I decided to work on the offensive line here and go for Ryan Cahill. So, this one, yeah, didn't know what to do here, so I just went with the middle linebacker. Don't like Eli Manning, and I didn't want the left eye outside linebacker, and I like Tyler Kiefert. I think he's a great pick here in this spot. Again, let's keep things familiar and go with Brandon Marshall. How could you not in this situation? That's one on the board anyway. Here was another tough pick here for me. Wasn't sure which way to go, linebacker. Or like, you know what? Maybe we should work on the line a little bit here. I did want to kind of build a strong line in this, but wasn't really sure. So I did go to the right end here. And this one, in hindsight, was not a great pick at all. This was a tough pick too, because I already have a strong safety. Uh, so what do you do? We're going to go with the left end and we're going to build up that defensive line. Again, in hindsight, we'll see that that was not the greatest thing in the world. I already have a center. Michael Floyd is tempting. But I think it was time for a quarterback as I was starting to get nervous here as we're in the 10th round. So I went with Matt Ryan. This is where things start to get interesting. I absolutely struggled with this pick too and said, you know what? Best bet here is to build up the secondary even more. Now things really get interesting. Ben Roethlisberger is super tempting. So is Rasheed Jones. But I have the strong safety and the quarterback. I felt like it was a wasted pick. Let's build that defensive line. You want to talk about interesting? Yeah. Boom. Muhammad Wilkerson. Another Jet. How could I pass up on him? Also, Wilson, I just picked a quarterback. Odell Beckham, I don't really like him. I don't like his attitude. And you know what? That's the way I pick my teams. Got to be honest with you. It's tempting to take a guy like Odell Beckham out there because of his skill set and everything else. But you know what? Let's build up that defensive line. I know in hindsight, like I said, things were going to get interesting. Muhammad Wilkerson here. Good old Mo. Again, another tough pick. What do you do here? I'm going to build up the secondary because I don't have a cornerback. Next to Darrell Rivas, so we'll go with McCourty. This is where, again, things get interesting. What do you do here? I'm not going to pick a fullback, and I kind of use the pick on a quarterback for Ryan. And I like Matt Ryan, even though I like Carson Palmer too. I think here is where you go for another defensive lineman, and you build up on that defensive line and just make it completely solid to build ourselves a nice core defense here for the draft champions. Like I said, struggled with this pick mightily as i'm sitting here i'm going this is my last pick what do i do here going back and forth trying to figure out what i wanted wasn't going to waste it on a fullback because you don't really use a fullback too often so i definitely went defensive line here and picked jason pierre paul so that gives us our team an 80 overall with an 81 defense and a 79 offense let's go take a look at our lineup just to make sure things are looking okay and exactly the way i want them and yes they do kind of fall into place the way i expected it to with the defensive line Jason Pierre Paul's on the right side, and Mo Wilkerson's on the left side, and you have Aaron Donald right there in the middle. So, yeah, looking pretty good there. That defensive line is definitely formidable. Secondary is looking decent. 
not exactly what I wanted it to be, but we do have two strong species in Revis and Lawyer Malloy. So let's take a look at our offense. Matty Ice is right there up in the middle. We got Brandon Marshall on the outside wide and Amendola outside to wide as well. And we got that center solid to keep the line kind of anchored in the middle. And we have Tyler Eford out there as well for our tight end. Let's jump into our first game action and see how this team pans out. There's the kickoff from your draft champion Jets. And they will get it in the end zone and take it out. The Colts do. And it's Davis. He gets himself out to about the 22-yard line to start this game off. Let's see what this defense can bring to the table here. So McCarron is the quarterback. He throws to the outside, hits his man for about nine yards on the play, getting it down there to his second down and one. Pretty good play there as he had found a hole in the defense. My fault on picking that defensive play. Was not ready for that at all. Third down and one here, same drive. They're going to toss it to the outside, but no, he is stacked up and stopped behind the line, picking up a loss of three yards there, and the Jets put the stop here and forced them to punt the ball. Good G Jets defense here, folks. This is exactly what we were looking for in our defense. I always kind of build defense when I'm looking to build a champion. I don't know why. But here comes Matty Ice and the offense, and let's see what they can do here. As I was a little concerned with some of the picks that I had made, and hoping that they can do something here. Didn't pick up a running back. And we could see here with those new running back mechanics. Quite not quite getting a handle on it there. And Helu loses a yard on the play. So now we kind of know what to expect from the mechanics. Let's go break off another run. Juke left. Yep. Break the tackle. Break it and get out and get the first down. Move the chains. And that's the way you do that. Yeah, I think I got a handle on the running back mechanics after the second run there absolutely and we're going to see later on that it does hold true i'm getting good at the run mechanics with this game so here's a first down and 15 brandon marshall goes up makes the catch comes down on his feet breaks a few tackles breaks another and is dragged out of bounds but not before getting the first down brandon marshall yeah we know why we picked him he's a jet and i love him what are you gonna do so here we go we're gonna hand off the helu again who breaks it right up the middle Nobody in his way, bumps into his own man, but gets it to the inside, breaks away, gets the touchdown. Touchdown Jets, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. 50-yard run for Helu there. Could not believe that I broke that one. Didn't do anything super fancy there, but I just kind of plowed it right up the middle. So here is the Colts with their next chance. Having a first down and 10, and McCarron just throws the ball away. And Darrell Rivas likes the way that one looks, yeah. We'll take that every time if he's just going to toss it away. He had nobody to throw to. Third down and 13. He's got a third and long here. They do find a hole in the defense, but we're playing that zone. So they do stop him before he picks up the first down. But he does get 10 yards on the play, but still fourth down and three. And they got to punt it back to me. That's the way I'm looking at it. And that's the way it's going to be. So a little rhyming there. Yeah, I know I did it. So third down and one here. Big play here for Matty Ice. And he gets his man, Tyler Eford, as he tries to break away, breaks the tackle. And goes backwards about six or seven yards. Uh, there is a give up button, but I didn't know what it was. So, yeah, we just kind of try to stick it out and not lose too many yards to come back before that first down marker. Because that would have sucked if we did, right? What are you going to do? So, moving forward. Let's see. Second down and seven here now. Matty Ice from the shotgun looking to throw. Finds Efrit there across the middle. He breaks away. Breaks a tackle, but then is knocked out of bounds but not before getting a first down and a huge gain, 17 yards on that play. That's two for 26 now for that tight end. Looks like it's a pretty good fix after all, isn't it? First down and 10 here to Brandon Marshall. Makes the catch on the out route and then takes it all the way home for a touchdown. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Touchdown, Brandon Marshall. I am absolutely loving the way this offense looks. I thought there was going to be a question mark here, but we're looking pretty good as we are now 14 to nothing. Third down 11 for the Colts here with a little over two minutes left to play in the half. And McCarron will just throw the ball away. And that'll do it here, bringing up another fourth down. And they'll have to punt it away. So with two minutes left in the half, the Jets here have a 14 to nothing lead with the Colts on the Colts. Third down and five here for Matty Ice. Takes the snap in the shotgun, looking to throw. And it is batted away, bringing up a fourth down and five as they do not get it done here 
with under two minutes left to play in the first half. And that'll bring us to halftime, folks, as the Jets have a nice 14 to nothing lead here. It's a nice lead going into the locker room. Exactly what we wanted. And uh, surprised by the offense, but not surprised by how dominant the defense has been playing here. As you can see, they're negative five in the rush yards there in that column. So Jets get the ball here first on a third down and one. We'll hand it off to that fullback who we did not draft. <laughs> but it works out for us anyway as he gets that one yard plus to move the chains for us, bringing up a first down and 10. So Amendola in motion and Matty Ice drops back, looks, hits Amendola crossing over who will be able to juke and not break the tackle, but does get enough for the first down, moving the chains for the Jets once again. This offense is looking great. So later on in the drive, it's a third down and 12. We have a long situation here. Matty Ice throws, hits Amendola who breaks away from the coverage and goes down at about the three yard line, getting it into the red zone territory there. And we have a second down and goal now with Matty Ice from the shotgun. Hits Funches over there in the end zone. He falls in, gets the touchdown. J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 touchdown, Funches. Absolutely fantastic. Later on here, 21 to nothing now. There's two minutes left in the game, and the Jets had gotten the ball back as the Colts could do nothing here. And we can see that they're trying to get it in closer before they do bring it in. It brings us to the two-minute warning here with a 21 to nothing lead as the Jets look absolutely dominant here. Under two minutes left to play now. We'll take the handoff, get a lob pass in to Tyler Efert, who gets the touchdown. J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 touchdown. Tyler Efert, unbelievable. We'll catch the replay on that one as it's worth another look. He gets both feet down. We'll see that pylon cam for the first time as well, and the Jets are now in it. So this is a third down and nine, and this is the one that's going to put it in the books, folks. That's right, Darrell Revis. I know you're probably all complaining when I drafted him because he's a Jet and all and blah, blah, blah. And so cliche, but I don't care because that's Darrell Revis with the interception to put the nail in the coffin on this one. 28 to nothing. The Jets get the ball back, and we're going to go and see that this is the end of the game. That's going to do it for this one, folks, as the Jets win it. And there's Matt Ryan shaking hands all around as the Jets come away with a big win here for their first of three in draft champions. We'll take a look at that score one more time. 28 to nothing. I did not expect this kind of performance out of this offense at all. I was a little worried about the offense coming in here, but we were able to work with those new running back mechanics and get 122 yards out of Hilu. And Marshall and Eford had themselves a day as well, picking up some big touchdowns for us. There's Laura Malloy sitting at the top of the list with three tackles on that in the play today as he led the defense and did his job as well. So that's it, folks. We got one of three. Two more wins to go to get our draft champions reward here going through this. I want to thank you guys for stopping by and checking this out with me. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you're thinking here of the series. What should we do differently? What would you like to see differently here in this one? I'm definitely going to play the other two games in this to see how far we can get. Leave a like for the for the video and come on back for more Draft Champions and the New York Jets. I'll see you around the channel and goodbye now.